Hey folks, <clears throat> I'm just making this be video because <laughs> this is a just a wee project I'm doing and if I don't film it I'm going to forget what I've done, where I've done it and what I want to do with it. So this truck started off as a top race TR212 or otherwise a Huina 1573 they're, they're all the same truck and the reason I wanted to upgrade this was because the running gear was absolutely terrible no suspension it would get stuck on a silly little stone I even tried putting soft tires on it but it uh, it was just so disappointing for me. So this was the running gear. And I thought I would try a little something which was to put the actual truck <coughs> parts onto a WPL six wheel drive chassis. So under, if I just try and move things out the road here excuse the mess it's work in progress I'm still trying to figure out how to make things fit and work so we have got this WPL the the axles have got metal gears the prop shafts are metal uh, not sure what size of motor it is couple of nice wee bits of wood there just to prop the, the cab up at the moment to, until I get uh, mounts made for it. So I've made, I've cut a wee this part here which used to hold all the metal weights. These were the metal weights that were crammed up inside there. There was four of them, as you can see. So all those, I've, I've taken them out, I've cut that off, and inside there, I've made a little bay so I can set the battery. These parts here, I've just made up with a little 3D printing pen because I don't have a printer. It's just to try and hold things in. I'm experimenting at the moment with this cheap little uh, lighting kit. It uh, doesn't, it's not the best, but I'll see how it goes. You know what it's like in this game. So, a mass of wires and a mess of wires because I'm still working on it. So what what we've got there It's a little ten amp ESC I think or it could be a twenty. <laughs> I can't remember. And in say the steering servo is one of these. That's what I've got in there, metal geared inside, and it seems to be so far doing the trick because I've had it running. Now this other ESC, I've had to put that in because I've just got one of those linear actuators to try and use it as a tipper mechanism. So again, I've tried it and it works. But I've just got to go around uh, work out how I'm going to mount it. So that's what that one is there, all the way from our eastern friends. The slow broke from China. So it's a 12 volt system, but it works nicely. The, the speed's uh, actually really quite good off the 7.4 volt uh, 2S LiPo. So it's quite nice and it's smooth and it's strong as well. 
which is what I wanted it for. So we'll figure out a way of mounting that <coughs> onto that body there and somehow get it fitted up inside there. What I think I might have to do is actually raise those mounts up so that I can get a, a full uh, tip angle on it because it's not uh, it's not tipping very far. I tried it earlier on, so that's the tipping angle. That's it. That's the extent of the tip, and it, that's as far as it goes. So if I raise those mounts up, I should be able to get a steeper tip. And this is what I've done underneath here. A bit of a chop shop job. As I say, I'm working on how to get it all to fit in. So, work in progress, as to say. So it sits nice. I've just got to try and get it mounted properly. It looks quite to scale. And then once... Once I've got it all sitting the way I want it, I'll strip it apart and I'm going to get rid of this horrible colour. Um, I've got a tin of uh, Caterpillar number 3, I think I might do that, but I might, I'll keep the metal, but uh, get, rid of, get rid of this uh, horrible orange. So that's, that's the state, uh, stage that I'm at at the moment. I've got a little sound kit in there as well. So it is a mess, but it's uh, it won't be for long. As I say, I've just got it sort of jerry-rigged at the moment, trying to get it all worked out. And I'm working off a Fly Sky GT5. Nice little remote, six channel. And there we are in here. And the reason I needed the six channels was because I wanted lights. I wanted to add the tipper uh, mechanism. So as you can see, I'm pretty much full up in there, which is all good. Uh, and as I say, I'm not, I'm not convinced on the lighting system at the moment. I might change that, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so lots of Y splitters, two ESCs, 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp battery in there at the moment. But I have the option of putting this nice little Gen Z 3800 in. Again, it's a 2S, 7.4 volt. And I'll have room in there for a little uh, LiPo alarm if I do that. So yes, um, this thing will climb hills. This it, it will do what I want it to do. It's just a little project. I, I, I was quite really disappointed with the, what it could do uh, out of the box. It, it didn't go very well on rough ground. It didn't tip very well and it was just horrible basically good enough for flat surfaces and you know playing about with but just the usual if you once you buy these things the first thing you want to do is upgrade them make them better and get get the most out of the out of the equipment as you can so once it's uh, <laughs> Once I've got it all tidied up, once I've got these mounts sorted out for the actuator, we might raise this up a little bit, maybe so far, raise those mounts up, extend that so we can get a, a better tip and it'll help the actual seating of the, the actuator as well. It'll help that do its job. So as I say, this little video is just really a reminder for myself as to what I've done 
and uh, if it spurs anyone else on or helps anyone else out where if they want to try the same thing or similar thing then all all good mounting the cab actually was one of the hardest things because with the WPL uh, chassis you've only got a little plastic tree up inside there with some uh, I can't I can't show oh there we go um, so what I've done is it used these post extenders and you can see my little 3d pen inserts infills so where sorry for the focus where you can see that one up in there um, I don't have a pointy device wait a minute excuse fingers this area up in here you can see it that was where the original speaker sat so I filled it in with a 3d printing pen and drilled a hole in to match where that peg goes in just to give me an extra mounting bracket so you can see the posts there that's what's holding the cab up but I don't have any at the back which is why those little blocks of wood are sitting there but I will be making mounts that fit in at the back of this box here and come down and, and rest on the chassis or maybe uh, straddle the chassis a bit just all um, making it up as I go along basically so I say the, the balsa wood is there just to hold it in position at the moment while I work on it so. Yes, so uh, it doesn't look too hideous. The ride height looks good. And um, it should go over the ground that I want it to go over now. <laughs> once it's uh, once it's all uh, tidied up and put back together and plugged in, hopefully. No, a wee paint job maybe as well. Yes, it's 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 a mess, but it, uh, it will get done. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're watching, uh, I don't make many videos, but I just thought I'd do this one mainly for myself. But if as I say, if it helps someone out, then all good. All good. Six wheel drive, it should go anywhere. Okay, thanks for watching.